Heinrich, your reign of terror must end. You fool. You know as well as I that I cannot be destroyed. <laughs> Prison, then. May the fates hold off the coming of the storm. Turn to Castle Wolfenstein immediately. Notify Herr Himmler. We found him. Come in. Well, Jack, have we heard anything? Yes, sir. We've just received a coded transmission from Kessler, our contact in the Chrysal Circle. And? Both agents have been captured and are being held in Castle Wolfenstein. Damn. Call a meeting, Jack. Yes, sir. All right, gentlemen. Now let's go through it again by the numbers. What did we miss? Well, here's what we know. This is Castle Wolfenstein, located in the Hartz Mountains of northern Germany, property of Heinrich Himmler. Now, we've known of the existence of Castle Wolfenstein for some time, but we've only recently heard reports from our Kreisau Circle contacts in the German resistance regarding bizarre occult rituals taking place there. Now, these characters are part of Himmler's newly formed SS Paranormal Division, a small but elite group comprised of members possessing above-average IQs and backgrounds with the occult and or paranormal. The one in charge is this woman, Helga von Bülow. Our Kreisau contact in one of the villages below the castle has informed us that she and other members of the division have been recently deployed to the area. The Kraut with the monocle is one Wilhelm Strasse, also known as Death's Head, a brilliant, ruthless scientist who heads up Himmler's Special Projects Division. Special Projects? <laughs> it's marvelously vague. Well, we know it encompasses all manner of advanced weapons research, including rocketry. It's also rumored to involve ultra-secret research into chemical and biological warfare. Charming. But at the moment, we don't know how it ties in with this massive archaeological dig near Castle Wolfenstein. So, advanced weapons, rocketry, chemical and biological research. Now, the occult. It still doesn't add up. Well, that's why we sent our boys in there. Jack, what are our options here? Well, we could send a backup team in behind them. Or? Or we sit tight and hope that they can find a way out. It's your call, sir. Well, looks like we play the waiting game.
Your orders, Herr Doctor. Go and get the other one. This one is almost finished. Jawohl. Now, let's try it again, shall we? Who do you work for?
Guard Station report. Tram Guard Station, what is happening? Yes, Lieutenant Ruger here. Situation under control. Ah, and the American? Dead. Excellent. Village Guard Station out. Shoot, I'm Kessler. Follow me. We must get you inside the village. Oh, it's freezing out here. <laughs> it's going to be even colder than last night. I hope we get some new blankets soon. I just hope we get some hot water soon. I haven't bathed in over two weeks. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Such as it is, this is my house. If you go down these stairs, there's a back entrance to the cafe. I regret that I cannot accompany you any further in my condition. You must hurry. Helga's team has an excavation site at the graveyard at the end of town. The entrance to the crypt is there. Good luck. Shoot! Come inside. Uh, I have something for you. Our British friends thought you might be able to use this. A silenced Sten submachine gun. You must go now. Guards, find you here with me, we'll both be shot.
I agree. Terrible. Just for our own men, our own men be sealed in with those, those things. Oh. I know, these things are everywhere. <gasps> what are they? Where did they all come from? Don't ask me, no one ever tells me anything. Oh my god! Did you hear that? Yeah, and I wish I hadn't. We have to get out of here. Follow me back to the entrance. The ladder, it's destroyed! They've sealed us in here! Get ready! They're coming!
What's happening? Uh, a moment, please, mein Director. Is it working? Please, be patient. We are operating under very difficult conditions here. Enough of your stalling! Tell me yes or no, will it work? Frau von Bülow, how many times do I have to remind you? This is a very complex and delicate operation. It cannot be hurried. We are not uh, filling teeth here. Don't take that patronizing tone with me. Just a moment. Just a moment. What? What? Yeah, yeah. The extraction process is beginning. It is only a matter of time now. Excellent.
are you planning now? I'm not planning anything. I'm doing it. I'm getting that dagger. No, you can't do that. You'll break the inner seal. I'm prepared to take that risk. You're prepared? Are you completely mad? Do you realize what will be unleashed? It will make all the rest of this seem like a minor annoyance. Ha! I don't care. I've waited my whole life for an opportunity like this. I'm not turning back now for some cowering bookworm and his pointless fears. Frau von Bülow, I warn you. If you persist in this madness, I will be forced to report your conduct to the SS High Court of Inquiry. Get out of my way, Zemph! Your feeble threats won't stop me. Please, come to your senses. Stop this madness before it is too late. This is your last warning. No, you can't. At last. Mother hand eagle's nest. Mother hand eagle's nest. Come in eagle's nest. This is eagle's nest. We read your mother hand. What is your status? Status is mission accomplished. We are inbound. Well done, mother hand. What is the condition of your passenger? All things considered, the passenger is doing fine. Repeat. Passenger is doing fine. Mother hand out. Well, gentlemen, it's been 48 hours since our man Blaskowitz returned from Castle Wolfenstein. That's given us ample time to digest his findings. Findings which are, to say the least, astonishing. That's an understatement, sir. The question I'm putting to you all now is this. What are the Nazis really up to? Well, sir, to put it bluntly, I don't think we know enough to answer that question. Really? Now, don't get me wrong. We've learned plenty about their capabilities. That alone scares the hell out of me. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. But... Yes, Jack? Well, there are two things that still bother me. Exactly what is this dark night they all seem to be so interested in? 
Well, what did our research come up with? Nothing. A complete blank. Well, it's obviously more of their jiggery-pokery raising the ghoulies rot. What's the second thing, Jack? The second thing is Death's Head. Now, here we have probably the single most dangerous figure in the entire Third Reich, and still, we don't have a clue about his connection to all of this. Death's Head? Haven't our sources placed him at the secret rocket base in Katamarundi? Well, that's correct. In fact, as luck would have it, our man Blaskowitz is headed there now. He is? Yes. His orders are to infiltrate and sabotage the entire V-weapons complex. With any luck, he might even get his hands on the latest experimental Cobra. The Cobra rocket plane? The very one. That's exciting news, sir. So, uh, what would you say, Jack, to my instructing our man to keep his eyes and ears open for any links to projects involving the, uh, paranormal? I would say that was an excellent idea, sir. Delivery for today? I believe so. Nothing else is scheduled. flying through here. Uh, then about an hour and a half later, they left. Ah, Death's head of the staff. One of his last minute of inspection, no doubt. He certainly does get around. Pardon me for a moment, Corporal, while I handle something important.
Personnel, V2 rocket test to commence in 5, 4, 3, Final check of safety seals. in one minute, 30 seconds.
comes. No, sir. Charge is set. Get out of here.
well, Jack? Blazkowicz touched down with the Cobra in Malta about six hours ago. Hmm. In one piece, I assume? Yes, sir. Advanced Aeronautics is en route to Malta now. Excellent. Now, I've read your report, Jack. Tell me what you make of this Operation Resurrection that Jerry's is so hot about. Well, sir, this is the second time that name has cropped up. First at the dig, and then at the rocket base. It is unquestionably the link between Death's Head and the Paranormal Group. Anything else? I'm afraid not, sir. We still need more information. And what would you suggest? We go to the source. And by that, I mean we shadow Death's Head himself. And we do it right in his own backyard. I take it you're referring to the secret weapons facility near Kugelstadt. Exactly. Hmm. Interesting proposition. You know, for months we've been trying to infiltrate that facility and have had no luck at all. I'm aware of that, sir. And are you also aware that Kugelstadt itself has been undergoing intense Allied bombing raids for the past 48 hours? Yes, sir. In fact, I was counting on that diversion to help tip the scales in our favor. Hmm. Well, what you probably don't know is that our Kreisau friends in the area have recently reported the existence of a high-level scientist from the weapons facility who wishes to defect and is desperately seeking asylum. I imagine he could supply us with some very useful facts. Indeed. All right. Now this is what we're going to do. We send Agent Blaskowitz in to link up with the Kreisau group outside of Kugelstadt. They have means for getting him inside the weapons facility, and he can assist them as necessary in order to get this scientist out of there and back in our hands. And then? And then we have him play the Bloodhound. Follow the scent.
Fire. Was it the blue?
Hurry up with those documents. I'm almost done. Just a minute. We don't have a minute. Ed's head wanted to leave an hour ago, and he's furious. All right, all right. So why's a rough? Major, why are we not yet ready to depart? My apologies, Herr Oberführer, uh, but the weapons loadout on the new torpedoes is uh, taking more time than originally anticipated. I don't have time for this nonsense. I have important business to attend to. This boat leaves for the X-Labs within the hour, torpedoes or not. Is that understood, Major? Perfectly, Herr Oberführer.
I will not diverge any information to you. They're going to Norway. The coordinates are 67 degrees north by 16 degrees east. Well, Jack, Agent Blaskowitz is certainly full of surprises. There's no denying that. No, sir. Of course, I always knew he was resourceful, but I never imagined he had such um, expert interrogation skills. <clears throat> well, from BJ's interrogation of the officer, we now know the approximate location of Death's Head's so-called X-Labs in occupied Norway. What have we learned from our defecting scientist? Well, unfortunately, not as much as I'd hoped. He was pretty badly shaken when we got a hold of him, and he still hasn't completely recovered. He kept referring to a Project Uber Soldat. Super Soldier? Yes. From what I could piece together, it involves some bizarre synthesis of robotic and biological engineering. Uh, for what purpose? Apparently, to create the ultimate killing machine. Good lord. According to the scientists, this project is Death's Head's baby. The thing most near and dear to his heart. And he's been working on it in one form or another since 1937. I suppose that explains the proto-soldier blueprint and those loping monstrosities as well. But it still doesn't explain the involvement with the occult. No, it doesn't. And there's only one place where we're likely to find that out. Yes, and that's why Agent Blaskowitz is on his way to the X-Labs in Norway as we speak. Trying to start a generator. So how is he not getting along? Still sick as a dog right here. It's too bad. I hope it's nothing serious.
No, no, don't kill me!
Agent Blast will visit it. You are a most impressive specimen. It will be my pleasure to dissect you piece by piece. Let me introduce you to someone. Do not confuse him with the mere prototypes you have encountered. This is the pinnacle of all my research. The super soldier. The super soldier. It will be my pleasure to watch him destroy you. Thus we see the superior of flesh and blood. Quite you must forgive me for carrying on so shamelessly like a crown father. Is Agent Blaskowitz? A little beat up, sir, but nothing too serious. They've just finished with him in debriefing. Well, he certainly came through for us this time. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Advanced weapons, biological engineering, robotics, and the occult. It all fits. Into what, exactly? I'm not sure, but it all fits. I was thinking along those same lines, sir. Jack, call a meeting. Yes, sir. What have you got there, Jack? Two Dakota dispatches just in from Ultra. The first one is a complete itinerary for Reichsfuhrer SS Heinrich Himmler, covering the next 48 hours. <whistles> now wait till you see the next one. A private communique from one Wilhelm Strasse, alias Deathhead, to the same Reichsfuhrer SS, dated yesterday. Shall I read it? Please. My dear Reichsfuhrer SS, as you are no doubt already aware, my X-Labs lie in complete ruin. Operation Uber sold that. My life's work is now a bitter memory. I realize you still have faith in the ultimate success of Operation Resurrection. 
I wish I could share your confidence, but I feel you have been misled by individuals whose mental competence must be called into question. I leave you now with a word of caution. The Allies have sent a most determined and capable agent to disrupt your ceremony. Do not make the mistake of underestimating him as I did. Yours faithfully, SS Oberfuhrer Wilhelm Strasse. Comments, gentlemen? Sir, may I speak freely? By all means. I have to confess, I'm having a hard time taking this seriously. I mean, are we really supposed to believe that all this has transpired so the Nazis can, well, I don't know, summon the spirit of a thousand-year-old prince? To do what? Win the war for them? Now, wait just a minute. Please, Jack, let me finish. Now, on top of that, we have what amounts to their own top scientists telling them they've all collectively blown a head gasket. What further evidence do we need? Sir, it just occurred to me that we may be looking at this the wrong way. I mean, well, if these blokes are really intent upon squandering precious time and resources on all this uh, mystic mumbo-jumbo, well then... Go on. What I mean to say is, if they're dead set upon sabotaging their own war effort, why should we try to stop them? Jack, I'm sure you have something to add. Yes, sir, I do. Gentlemen, if just two weeks ago someone had mentioned legions of undead, man-made monsters and demons from hell, would any of you have taken them seriously? Of course not, and neither would I. But think of all we've learned since then. Now you're saying we should ignore the rest of it because why? It's, it's too incredible? I'm not saying I believe it. I'm saying we can't afford to dismiss it. Once again, it's your call, sir. It's settled then. Blaskowitz returns to Castle Wolfenstein. Open the gate, bitter. I have an important delivery. Sorry, this road is closed. What do you mean, closed? It can't be closed. This is the only road into Paderborn. I know, that's why it's closed. Due to special conditions of security pertaining to the upcoming ceremony, absolutely no traffic is to be allowed in or out of the vicinity of the village of Paderborn for the next 24 hours, by order of General von Stauff. But this delivery is for General Von Stuff. It's six cases of cheese and sausages for the officer's kitchen. Get him on the phone now. I'm sure he'll make an exception. Sorry, we are completely blacked out. What? Due to special conditions of security pertaining to the upcoming ceremony, absolutely no radio communications will be allowed in or out of the vicinity of the village of Paderborn for the next 24 hours by order... Yeah, yeah, I know, by order of General Von Stuff. Look, I'm not going to be held responsible for this. I absolutely refuse to budge from this spot until you let me through. Suit yourself, but you'll be staying here until tomorrow. But what am I supposed to do with all this cheese? I don't know. Look for some crackers? <laughs> Thank you. 
someone's out. <laughs> Come, my dear. Surely it doesn't take all night to get dressed.
look at this moon tonight. Kenf, where's my 38 Latour? I sent that idiot down to the wine cellar 20 minutes ago. Apologies, my general. I will go and investigate the delay. See that you do, Kenf. Just come inside and uh, warm up for a bit. Ich weiß nicht, was von Format haben die denn zur Verfahrung zu führen. Well, it's going to be quite a show, eh, Carl? If any of it is really true, <laughs> still you doubt. <laughs>
Tetius Ominum, Morde Tsunami. All right, Madame Blavatsky will begin the ceremony any time now. Once she begins, make sure that you do not look in the direction of the ruins. What... what will happen if we... If you look? Well, first your blood would begin to boil. And after that? Well, it doesn't matter very much after that, yeah? Stand your post here and make sure you do not lose power. Understood? Davos.
Herr Himmler, the plane is waiting to take you back to Berlin. Sir, the Führer is expecting your arrival. Come in. You wanted to see me, sir? I just uh, finished reading the last of the reports. It's still hard to believe. Well, I suppose we can close the book on Operation Resurrection, wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir. Jack. I think that Agent Blaskowitz deserves a medal for what he did, but seeing how this mission never officially existed... I'm sure he understands, sir. Well, I hope at least he's enjoying some well-deserved time off. Oh, yes. He's off on a little R&R &R as we speak. Ah, excellent, excellent. Anything special?